Andreas Campbell Such. This is Mind Bite Thursday. Time management. How are you with yours? Can you get to the end of the day and find that you haven't got one thing ticked off your list? None of those big things that you needed to get done? So frustrating. Well, you're not alone. There's a lot of people in the same boat. I'm in exactly the same category. I've had days and days through my career where I've had, had that happen to me. But what if there was a way where you could, with a reasonably simple system, uh, some structure, easily find a way to do what Cal Newport in his book Deep Work calls focus. And maybe time management isn't so much about managing your time as about managing your focus. And that's what I think the real key to getting things done is, is managing your focus. So there's a system called the Pomodoro system. It's a, an app you can download onto your computer and your iPhone and your Android phone. And it breaks your day up into half hour slots, a 25 minute chunk of focused work, a five minute break, and then another chunk of 25 minutes. If you take your task list, pick your big thing you wanted to get done for the day, the three smaller things, the medium sized things to, to deal with your, with your longer term goals, and then maybe five of the more uh, trivial things that you need to get done that you just have to get done. Allocate some or all of those, so the five, maybe five trivial things you might get done in one Pomodoro, which is 25 minutes, and then the other three you might do on one each, and your big task you might need three or four. Break the day up, aim for maybe four to eight Pomodoro, so that's only two to four hours of focused work, and you'd be amazed if you do that how much you can get done. At the end of the day, at the end of two days, at the end of the week, you can get done in, in that time what you could normally, would normally take a whole lot longer. I've got a little template that I use that I um, put each of the key tasks in, I estimate the number of Pomodoros that I want for each of them, and then I check off how many I do, which gives me a loop that I can come back and check to see how when I uh, planned and estimated how much effort it would take, how much it actually took. If you'd like a copy of that spreadsheet, just put template in the bottom and I'll, I can send it to you. But I can highly, highly recommend the Pomodoro technique. It's amazingly simple. It almost sounds too trivial to work, but you'd be amazed how much it can add to your ability to focus and get stuff done off your list for your medium-sized goals, your big goals, to be able to get back to work after you've had interruptions from your phone, from people coming in to see you. It's it's very, very powerful. So that's uh, Campbell Such, Mind Bite Thursday. See you next week. Bye.